This video was shot using a Canon XS 1000D DSLR camera. I modified the camera by removing its two internal filters and I replaced them with a clear glass. The camera is now full spectrum. The scene appears very red because I'm also using a Hoya R72 infrared filter on the camera lens. In infrared, vegetation has a pinkish glow. And even though this video is being shot in the winter time, some of the grass is still green and a few of the trees on the horizon are evergreens and they are providing the pinkish glow. As the camera comes to stop just above the tree line, you can see the full moon beginning to rise. It's right at the center. Now I am removing the Oya R72 infrared filter from the camera lens and I'm going to refocus the camera lens. And the view we see now is how the camera's imaging chip receives all wavelengths of light unfiltered and with the camera's auto white balance turned on. Notice how all of the vegetation, that is the grass and the trees, appear orange. There's really no green color here like there should be. And the sky is somewhat blue, but not the correct blue. Now I am going to install a color correcting filter on the camera lens. This lens has the same transmission characteristics as the original infrared cut filter that was removed in the modification. This is how the scene would appear to the naked eye. The blue of the sky is reflected from the ice covered pond and the greener areas of grass can be seen along with the deep color green of the pine trees on the horizon. This video was taken with a Canon 1000D camera and the 1000D does not have a built-in video mode. The free software by Alexei Chernov was used to capture this video. If you'd like to learn more about DSLR camera modifications for infrared photography and also for astro imaging, please consider visiting my website.